State Capitol as Brian Kemp is sworn in as Georgia's new governor. About 20 minutes ago, outgoing Governor Nathan Deal left the Capitol with his wife, a symbolic move as Kemp takes over. Kemp Central promised tonight to unify the state's deep political divide and to move Georgia forward after a bruising campaign and controversial election. We have team coverage tonight, starting with 11 Live's John Shirk live at Georgia Tech, where Kemp was sworn in this afternoon. John, 8,000 people there for this. 8,000 cheering people, a standing ovation today for Governor Brian Kemp when he promised to work for unity across this state after the election that, in a way, as he put it, ripped apart this state. Symbols and words of unity and hope. Governor Brian Kemp asked Judge T.J. Hudson from Trutland County in rural southeast Georgia to administer his oath of office. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. And then Brian Kemp began his inaugural address, saluting some of the greatest Georgians of history. People like Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. A long list of Georgia heroes who Kemp did not say and did not have to say just happened to be African Americans. Kemp said it was his high school football coach, Billy Henderson, in Athens. Kemp's mentor, who taught him one of his greatest lessons, the coach working so long ago to unify a team and a community divided by race, turning the players into one team champions. What Kemp says he will work to do now, following a controversial election against Stacey Abrams that Kemp people, barely won. We will put people ahead of divisive politics. We will be known as a state united. It can be done. Kemp spoke of his plan to cut taxes and government red tape, improve the rural economy, fight gangs and drugs, strengthen schools, keep school children safe. But it was his pledge to find common ground and heal the state's divides that brought all 8,000 people to their feet. We have so much in common. And as governor, I will fight for all Georgians, not just the ones that voted for me. Among those here applauding, Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Mayor Bottoms and Governor Kemp do not see eye to eye politically, and yet she and the governor have already met, promising to work together for the good of the state and the good of the capital city. We'll hear from Mayor Bottoms coming up at 6. The day began with prayer, as we hear from 11 Live's Nick Sturdivant. The Cathedral of St. Philip's here in Atlanta was Brian Kemp's first stop in a big day full of events. Our camera was inside for the service. The inaugural prayer service was held this morning. This is a private event with very tight security, but it was packed inside. Dean Candler led this morning's service and clergy from across the state came out. Kemp and his family walked in minutes before service started. Kemp didn't speak, but it was a service filled with song and blessings as Kemp takes the top job. Give him that holy wisdom that comes from above. Give him wisdom in administration and practice and action. We pray especially for Brian, the governor-elect of Georgia, and for his family. In Atlanta, Nick Sturdivant, 11 Alive News.